what is going on guys my name is fisher welcome back to the channel hope you guys are having a wonderful morning noon or night whenever you guys are watching this video hope it is going well for you now in today's video i know it's been a long time since i've created the tutorial but i thought it would be fitting if i create this because i had a super super cool idea for some bit badges for your twitch streams now if you don't know what bits are bits are kind of like the currency on twitch that you can use to uh donate to streamers so uh, a bit is worth you know however much of a dollar or you know whatever amount that you're choosing um it's it's a it's a kind of cool way to interact with the stream and uh, yeah, I thought it'd be really cool to create your own custom ones because Twitch allows you to have custom bit badges. So yeah, we're gonna create some really cool vibrant bitch badges bit badges. Sorry if it <laughs> if I said something that uh, reminisced the word. Um, we are gonna create some really really cool bit badges. Uh, gonna be gonna be great. So yeah, let me actually show you what they are here. All right. Boom, and these are the bit badges that we are going to be creating here. Very cool, very fun, vibrant bit badges. I think these uh, work out very, very well. Uh, but yeah, dude, let's go ahead and let's create these bit badges. Let's go ahead and start over. So go to your top left hand corner and you can see on file, you get this new button right here, click that. And uh, a good good size for bit badges are 72 by 72. Now the official size is uh, for the bit badges are 18 by 18 and 32 by 32. But I uh, kind of do something different since with Illustrator that you can render at a lower size. So I kind of do that there. So 72 by 72, just so I have a high working area, a decent working area uh, that I can work in. So go ahead and create that. And now you have this box okay so go to your rectangle tool if i can find mine uh dude where did mine go there it goes rectangle tool draw a box center it align it all right so now by default it has this uh stroke on it and we don't need that stroke so we can just go ahead and click this fill none we go over here and now it's just a white box and uh, we can change the color so i want it to be a kind of a like a like a nice, nice blue. Let's grab a, let's grab a decent blue color. Boom. All right, now we're gonna rotate this 45 degrees, okay? Good, move it down just a little bit so you have some room to work with and you're gonna pull this top point up, all right? Just so you get that kind of crystal, kind of diamond shaped. So what you're gonna do here is you are going to control C to copy and then you're gonna go control F to place that right in the same place. Okay, so now that you have that, uh, you're going to uh, use this direct selection tool. Deselect, select this point right here, and you're gonna drag it all the way to the middle. And this one, uh, we're gonna give it a transparency of a screen right now. So there we have uh, two differentiating colors here. So uh, th this is the start of our bit batch. Okay, so you're gonna take this shape that we just changed the transparency shader on and we're gonna control copy and control uh, to place that right back in place. And we're gonna take that same point here. So let's grab it and we're gonna move it in just a little bit, just like that. Gives it some variation and this one, uh, this one's gonna be a multiply or actually you know what let's what, what do we want to do we can just put it on normal it doesn't need to have anything and uh, we can go control F and copy that and paste it back in place then uh, right click go all the way down here to transform and we're gonna go to reflect because we want it to be the same on each side so do that and move it back over in place and this one is going to be multiply so see you already see that we're starting out and we're at and, and the bit badge looks really really cool now we're going to make this thing pop in just a second so stay with me here so we want to take this bottom layer right here and we're going to go do the same thing control c to copy control f to paste in place and uh honestly we can control x to uh kind of cut that out of the, the the document and paste it right on top all right and we're going to take this top point right here and we're going to move it all the way down till about right here is fine and then we're going to make that a multiply boom 
and basically that's it that's what your bit badge is gonna look like but we're gonna take this a bit farther so we're gonna highlight everything control g to group it and we're gonna control c to copy it and control f to paste it right in front so we have another copy here control z to put it back in place and what we're gonna do i'm gonna go over to effects and then we're gonna go over to blur and gaussian blur so by default for me set to 13 because i was playing around with this last night so if if you want more of an effect you can pump it all the way up <laughs> or you can do it as little as you want to but i like 13 pixels i think that works the best and you hit okay so now you got this and um it, it, it looks really really blurry you know you can't really see what's under it too too well so we're just gonna select that i'm gonna go over here to transparency and we're just gonna find something that works i think screen works overlay works uh what do we want soft light could work i personally I am going to go with uh, either screen or overlay. I think I like screen a little bit better. So yeah, that's basically how you make a bit badge like the ones I've made here. And even if you wanted to you come over here and you can copy this and you can rename whatever you want, you know? Um, cool thing about this is all you have to do is select all of them control g to group them all together so they're all grouped and you can literally just change the color and the color is changed let's let's grab a better color boom kind of reminds me of the sims logo a little bit so let's copy that out again and let's go ahead let's make a pink one Boom, pink, like that. Uh, we're gonna copy one more. Actually, no, we'll we'll do a couple more, and we're gonna make a yellow one. Oh, if we can get it, this. Forgot to control G on everything. Oh, okay, doing something wrong here. All right. Select everything, control G, and then <laughs> we can do what we need to do. I don't like that shade. It looks like throw up, dude. I like that one. That one looks good. Maybe we need a deeper yellow, darker yellow. Yeah, that one doesn't look too bad, but we can make it a little bit darker. Yep, a yellow like that looks really, really cool. Pops a little bit. All right, now it's already control G, so it's already grouped. And let's make this red, dude. That's a that's a really, really nice ruby red. I think I want to brighten it up a little bit. So bring that in. Bring this in a little bit. Boom, just like that, dude. It's kind of like a like a reddish orange. Uh, we'll do one more just for the tutorial sake. All right, and this one I want, uh, what do I want here? Maybe, dude, we got a lot of the colors already. Maybe we can go like a purple. Obviously we gotta get the purple, you already know. And boom, that purple looks so, so good. Dude, and if you even wanted to, can, Copy another one, come over here, right click, and you can ungroup this so it's it's separate. And what you could do is you can keep this red like that and uh, you can take this and make it be this blue and paste it over here and kind of play with the blending modes a little bit. So you, so you get like a, a, a different like color to it. It's It's really cool if you play with it. Multiply looks like garbage. Lighting, uh, lighting's not that bad. Screen's not that bad. Color dodge, really not that bad. I don't think it fits the best. Overlay, ah, it's okay. You you can get kind of like shades of, of different colors if you if you like soft light. Hard light looks kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, that is basically the tutorial. And now you guys know how to make bit badges for your streams. Cool thing is, is that 
I have a Patreon. So if you guys want this project file, it'll be on Patreon. The link will be in the description. Or if you just want to buy this one off uh, bit badge set, uh, it'll be for a dollar on my paid hip site. So you have two different ways to get that. Um, Blast off, I do want to say that I have a podcast with the company that I started called Untraditional. Podcast is called the Untraditional Podcast. We interview creators uh, that are they're doing cool things in their space. We just interviewed a guy. His name is Ibanji. Check it out. Good, good podcast. Uh, link will be in the scripture. And thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe, I guess. <laughs> Peace out. Goodbye. I'm out.